Many students understand the basic form of a push-up. However, did you know that there is a right way and a wrong way to perform this exercise? The Alabama Physical Fitness Test has a set of standards for performing a 90-degree push-up that it will benefit you to know. By the end of this movie, you will have a better understanding of the form and function of a 90-degree push-up. According to the Alabama Physical Fitness Test Manual, the objective of performing 90-degree push-ups as part of the test is to measure upper body muscular strength and endurance by counting the maximum number of push-ups correctly completed. Muscular endurance is defined as the ability to contract the muscle repeatedly over a specific period of time without fatigue. The first step when using the correct form of a 90 degree push-up is for students to be laying down in a face down position on a mat with hands placed flat on the ground and under shoulders. Fingers are to be stretched out, legs should be straight and spread slightly apart with toes tucked under the legs in a tiptoe position. During the action part of the 90 degree push-up, students lower body using arms until elbows bend at a 90 degree angle and upper arms are parallel to the floor. This movement should be repeated as many times as possible. The incorrect form for a 90 degree push-up includes arching or sagging the back, touching the knees, chest, thighs, or abdomen to the floor, not achieving the straight arm position during the going up phase, and not achieving a right angle at the elbow during the going down phase. The following video clip is from the Alabama Department of Education website and demonstrates how to correctly perform a proper 90 degree push-up. The testing students will begin the test in the prone position and will position themselves so that their hands are directly under their shoulders. Fingers should be in a relaxed position. Legs should be straight and spread slightly apart with toes tucked under the legs in a tiptoe position. The student partners should position themselves slightly away from the testing student so that Down. they are able to count the repetitions One. as well as Down. make sure the testing student's Two. forms are correct. The testing Down. student will push off the mat Three. until the arms are completely Down. extended. It's Four. vital that the back remains straight throughout the test. Once the arms are completely extended, the testing student will lower the body until the elbows reach a 90 degree angle and the arms are parallel to the floor. Down. One. The goal of the testing Down. student is to complete as many push-ups as possible within Down. two minutes. To review, students should push off the floor with arms until arms are straight, keeping the legs and back straight. The back should be kept in a straight line from head to toe throughout the test. You are now knowledgeable of the expectations put forth by the Alabama Physical Fitness Test Manual for the correct form of a 90 degree push-up. If you have any further questions regarding any part of the test, please ask your teacher or visit www.alsde.com, click on Help and Physical Education, and then select Physical Fitness Test Administrator Manual.